Hey you guys, so welcome back to day five. Y'all, this is my last day of my lipstick lip gloss segment. National Lipstick Day is next week and I'm so excited. I actually had so much fun doing this entire segment. No matter how stressful it got, I'm so happy I did it. I'm happy that I achieved posting like all five days this week. That's super crazy and very, very out of character for me um, and on this channel. But I just hope that I can do something like this again one day. I have no idea what it would be. Maybe like a week of natural hairstyles. That would be cool too. I don't know. But yeah, so I really want to get into today's brand today. The brand I'm going to be discussing is Dose of Colors, y'all. Dose of Colors, I feel like, really broke into the liquid lipstick just avenue. Um, I feel like they came out of nowhere. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe you can purchase Dose of Colors at Ulta or Sephora. I could be completely wrong, but I don't think I've ever seen them online at those stores. So when I give you guys the description today of these liquid matte lipsticks, it's going to be coming from the Dose of Colors website. So I'm on the website and the description does state that our creamy liquid matte lipsticks envelopes lips in rich long wearing color and dries comfortably to a weightless matte finish it says the results of our colors may vary due to a number of factors including but not limited to monitor resolution settings lighting and skin tone etc so they're basically saying these colors might look different on everybody and i can see that because like like okay the situation right now i have two lights and i have lost my natural light for the day because it is freaking thunderstorming so my blinds are closed there's no point in having them open because there's no natural lighting coming so i totally get it you guys these liquid lipsticks run 19 dollars, so not up to the part of 23 dollars, which was the anastasia beverly hills make sure you check that video out as well but 19 dollars is still expensive 20 dollars, basically rounded up to 20 dollars a pop that's that's a lot of money. So today I have 10 shades to try out and let's just get right into it. So I do want to talk about the bottle because it is like a little crystal bottle, which I freaking love. I have always loved like the crystal look. Like it's just, it gives matte. Like I'm so happy they put it in like a matte looking bottle. Um, I'll show it up close. And then at the top, it just has liquid matte going around in a circle. So very cute, very simple. It says Dose of Colors. I love her. I will say this. I had Dose of Colors before the rebrand. So I love the brand. And I love the glosses, which I don't have many of the glosses. Um, if those go on sale, I'll probably reach for those. I have the old ones that are actually behind me. I just feel like oh, I need the new ones so yeah now because the bottle looks like this I'm going to try my best to go from lightest to darkest but some of the shades might be misconstrued just because of the bottle but the first shade I am going in with is cozy so So oddly enough, I actually do like this shade. Would I wear it without a lip liner? Hex no, nah. y'all should know by now. If you've been watching my whole week of lip videos, this is not gonna cut it for me. However, it will cut it if I'm doing like a really cute ombre lip with a brown lip liner. It's definitely giving potential. But yeah, it's giving butterscotch from the Anastasia Beverly Hills video. Um, it's not bad this is just not the vibe that i tend to go for so with that being said i'm gonna hop right into the next shade i don't know if i mentioned this you guys but i have 10 shades today so we got a lot of ground to cover and this next shade is called knock on wood and it's looking like a little bit more browner so yeah 
This is a nude that I feel like looks a lot better. And it's also way warmer. Mm, and I just like the way that these feel on the lips. Like, if I'm going to wear a liquid lipstick, I need for it to not feel like it's there. And I need for it to not be drying because that's just annoying. So you guys, here is the shade Knock On Wood. And I am very impressed. Still, although this is very cute, it's warm on the face and not really blending in. I personally would like to achieve an even better lip combo with a lip liner. So that's just a personal preference though. Always remember, when I'm telling you guys these things, most of them are personal preferences and opinions, okay? I'm gonna be moving into the shade called Heartbreaker. And per the bottle, it's looking a little brown too, but now that I'm looking at it, I just don't know. I think it's nude and hopefully it's darker. Is this a pinky nude? I feel like it's got a little smidge of pink, and that's not a bad thing. So this totally has a smidge of pink in the nude, and it's really not bad at all, because usually I'll be like, mm, I don't know if I'm feeling her, because like I think that I've mentioned this to you guys on my channel before, I just love like the brownish look of a nude. But this pink is so freaking cute. I would actually consider, consider wearing this without a lip liner. That is not normal for me and not something that I would like do on a regular basis, but this one really isn't that bad. <laughs> okay, so this is a shade that I've tried before. It's called Cork. And yes, I do use this with Cork Lip Liner by MAC, so. So pretty. So when I tell you guys this shade is right up my alley, perfection. This definitely does not need a lip liner. Would I use lip liner? Of course, that's just me. But absolutely not necessary. I think it's so cute and I think I feel like I've forgotten about this shade because I haven't been wearing it lately, but I'm feeling like it needs to go in the work bag. <laughs> so this next shade is pink, you guys. I can tell from the bottle, I'm scared of her. And she's called Stone, so I, I don't know, it looks kind of mauve and I love a mauve pink. So, Let's be honest, the color is not bad, and I'm actually not upset at it. This absolutely needs a lip liner in my opinion. Mm. But I will say, I wouldn't on a daily basis reach for a pink of this caliber. It's just not my thing, but it's not too bad. Okay y'all, we already have five shades down. I'm gonna pick up the next shade. It's called Mondays, very, very cute. It's looking pink from the bottle. Let's give her a swipe. Oh yeah. This one is perfect. Y'all, this is another one of those shades that I definitely will wear without a lip liner. It's so cute. It's a mauve pink, and it's pretty much everything that I personally would want when I think of pink because I'm such a cool tone person. I don't really like too cool, but this is like that perfect dark shade of like a rose pink, and I just think it's perfection, so... I'm just so pleased with this one. 
<laughs> and to be honest, I would I highly recommend a purchase if it's on sale. Even if it's not on sale. <laughs> She's cute. My next shade is called Campfire and it looks a bit orangey. I don't know if it's going to be like a salmon pink or what. So kind of coral, I would say. I knew from the tone coming from the bottle that this would be kind of orange so it definitely is reminding me of a cross between like salmon and coral um it's not my favorite and it's not a shade that I would reach for you can avoid a shade like this if you want to during the sale just because it's not really that big of a deal to have unless you just love this type of shade but me personally this is this is not really what I'm looking for when I'm going to be shopping on National Lipstick Day. Okay, ladies and gents, if we have any in the audience, the lips are getting stained. <laughs> they're getting stained and they're burning, but that's okay because we only have a three shades left. You guys, I love this brand. Dose of Colors, I feel like it's just so underrated and I really don't understand why. They're bomb. But for our next shade, I'm trying the shade Mood, and I don't even know what to expect. Is it a dark red? Oh, I don't even know what to say. First of all, I clearly have not tried this shade before. Where have you been hiding? And second of all, this is definitely going to be, had to clean that up right there, but this is definitely going to be a winter shade. Fall slash winter shade. I feel like it could be worn for both seasons, but I'm just highly impressed. I love that these liquid lipsticks are not drying. I'm saying that again, I'm reiterating that because if you don't own any, then you probably, you just wouldn't know. But these are so good and I love that my lips are not clumping up. Sometimes when you take off liquid lipsticks, dry skin can come up. I feel like that's maybe a little bit normal. Like I'm trying on 10 freaking liquid lipsticks, but my lips still feel smooth. That's unheard of. <laughs> On top of that, they just look so good and I, I'm impressed. <laughs> so now I'm moving into the shade called Warm Me Up and we're kind of like pivoting a little bit. I did not organize these very well, but we're going back into brown. So this one is Warm Me Up. Ooh. The chocolate, the chocolate is doing it for me. So this is what I consider a warm brown. She's super cute and looks just like a melted Hershey bar. Yes, I'm definitely gonna categorize this as a melted Hershey bar. It's so cute on the lips. You guys, perfect fall shade. I know it's warm, but I would still rock this in the fall just because it is that brown. But this is definitely, this could definitely be considered a summer shade. I just always kind of associate the darker shades with fall, winter. I don't know, it's just the mood, but I'm just so shook. All right, you guys, last but not least. Like I said, last but certainly not least, we're going to pivot one more time because I think this shade might be like reddish. So what is it called? break <laughs> I 
This one pleasantly surprised me. I love that it's a take on a burgundy-ish red, but it's cool tone. Like it, you can tell that they mixed in a little bit of gray within the red. And I'm personally a fan of this. I can imagine chestnut, my favorite lip liner, one of my favorite lip liners, ombre out with this shade and I can just envision it in my head and it looks amazing. I'm shook. Guys, like I said, this is my last color. I do wanna know your thoughts below on the National Lipstick Day segment. Did you guys enjoy it? Would you guys like me to film other videos? Um, I could do top 10 lipsticks, top 10 lip glosses because there are so many other lip products that I like. I just don't have a bunch of them but like there are lip products that I have just like one color and it's bomb so I can do like the top tens I can do videos that aren't related to lips at all although I love the lip products but yeah I do want to know what you guys thought about me posting daily that was different <laughs> <laughs> totally different this video is coming out late on day five but that's okay better late than never okay but yeah if you're new to my channel and you just kind of caught wind of the lipstick vibes make sure you leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe okay subscribe for even more content and as for everyone else please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up just make sure you give the content a thumbs up just so my content can get out on youtube and with that being said i guess i'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys